good. So what I'm doing is getting this buck ready to do a Euro mount. And really, the first thing you want to do is skin the skull off here as good as you can. Get as much meat off as you can. And the sooner you do it to from the time you shoot them, the easier it's going to be. Otherwise, all this fat and muscle starts to harden up. It can get really hard to get that off of there. You want a nice sharp knife, kind of score the fat or just work your way around. Whatever you prefer. It's going to take you about half an hour, probably, on average. But very easy. Just follow the contour of that skull right around. When you get up around the bases, you want to come up, start to peel off one piece, and just work your way around. And the better you can clean that up, the uh, more time it's going to save you in the long run. When you put this guy in the boil. Pretty good buck. I was measuring my 10 point in there just to compare. This is basically the same frame as him. Just in an 8 point. And this guy had nice brow tines. Uh, I put a picture in my last video there. Of him as a. Um, you know. Nice symmetrical buck. And. Rough times weren't busted back in October, and he's since fought a real big, or at least a good fighting buck. So once you get most of the cape off there, you can kind of follow behind this back of the skull plate right here and just zip that off with a um, hacksaw or sawzall, whatever you got. still some meat over here we can clean that up um, you got to get the jaw off too the lower jaw does not typically stay on with European mounts so you kind of come down through here and it'd be like the cheek muscle I guess but slice that down through and then up in here, it connects up into the upper part of the skull. So you kind of loosen down through there with your blade best as you can. Just kind of following that skull blade around, and then that'll right out like that. So, on this guy, he was already blind in that eye. I don't need to worry about that eye. But, this side needs to come out. Kind of nasty, but it's gotta happen. part that's really any grosser than just uh, a normal skin job just pulling that eye out all right guys so what I got here for the next step 
after you get all the flesh off him, um, you're gonna wanna use some sort of, probably a turkey fryer like this. You could do it over an open fire if you want with a cooking grate or something like that. I've always used a propane tank and uh, turkey fryer. Gonna wanna get your water nice and hot. You're not gonna wanna use your standard turkey fryer pot because it's gonna get all nasty. Um, and all I do is put a little dish soap in there you can put a little degreaser in there if you got something, um, you know, that you just dump in. You don't want to, I don't think, use any type of spray degreaser. And then you're going to put this guy in to soak and let that come up to a rolling boil. Um, once it starts boiling, I'd leave it in there for a good 20 minutes. So this is something you can certainly, uh, you can certainly take off and do something else. Um, I'm probably going to be working on some trim in the house while this is boiling and I'll show you what uh, once that gets to a rolling boil um, and sits in there for a good 20 minutes I'll show you the next step so see you in a few so you can see this is boiling pretty good here maybe you can't with that steam coming off but now you can like I said 20 minutes or so there's no rules to this um, but while you're doing that, you can get your pressure washer hooked up, get that out, and then if you don't have a concrete pad or something to do it on, uh, get a piece of plywood out because you're not going to want to be spraying the skull off on the grass or mud or whatever. You know, you're going to make more of a mess than anything. So grab an old piece of plywood or do it on a concrete pad, and uh, in a few minutes we'll get him out of, out of there and um, do the first pressure wash on him. I'll show you how to do it. Now I put a little of this here stuff in there. I don't know what it is or what it'll do, but it's biodegradable, should be fine. All right, so now we're on to phase three. We've deflashed, we've boiled, and now we're gonna start washing it. So if you got some important fish or fishermen gear like this, guys because my wind's headed right that way I don't want to soak the camera but let's see if I can get a little bit better view here that was left on that skull is starting to peel right off. I mean, you can do a lot of it by hand. But it's all because of that hot water and that deep grease we put in there. You can see how white the skull is already getting. It's starting to look really nice. So, the pressure wash is probably give it another few minutes and then we'll dunk it back in that water and let it heat up again. So there's first pass, and I'd say about 90% of what was on there 
has already come off. A lot of this stuff's really loose. I might have just not even not even hit it with the pressure washer, but um, we'll stick him back in the uh, see even around the antler bases there where I missed some of it with the knife or it was hard to get. That stuff's peeling right off really good. So um, I'm gonna stick him back in the water and then uh, let him sit for another 20 minutes and then we'll hit it again. I had to refill it with water, which you're probably gonna need to do inter intermittently. It boils off fast, but um, she's ripping again. We're gonna leave it another 10 minutes. Then we'll uh, pull it out, pressure wash it. So this is gonna be just about the nastiest part, but after you get that first vertebrae out, you'll be able to look right down into where the brain is, and that thing turns to mush in that pot. So I'm gonna stick my um, wand down in there, and it's just gonna come out like uh, soup, I don't know. So that's pretty much it. That's after two times boiling it. And that's almost what I would call a finished skull, aside from whitening. But I'm gonna put it in one more time just cause the water's rolling, boil, and there's a couple little spots back here that I wanna clean up a little better. If I took the pressure washer to it right now, I could probably get them, but I'm gonna heat it back up and hit it one last time but I think that degreaser that I used really helped and uh, I'll probably use that again. So one last time, probably not gonna video that and then uh, I'll take you in for the last and final step there for uh, whitening and that is super easy. You can do that anytime. Um, so we'll see you in a few. So the reason you saw me cutting those molars off on the bandsaw, yeah, bandsaw over there <clears throat> um, was because I am sending this buck out to get aged um, on a website called DeerAge.com and I'm just curious, uh, I'm guessing three and a half or four and a half, um, but I'm going to do a little giveaway I think and Whoever guesses the correct age and the closest to what this buck scores, um, I will uh, give something away. I'm not sure what yet. A knife or I don't know. We'll see. But for the whitening process, all you want to do is I'm taking a brush here and I'm taking hydrogen peroxide that I bought at the Dollar General for 95 cents. And you just want to get this brush wet be real careful around the antler bases you don't want to get any hydrogen peroxide on the antlers themselves because it will bleach the antlers and you want that nice brown look natural look um, but i'm getting up here in the nasal cavity um, up in the bones around the mouth <clears throat> and you just wanna do the best you can. And you can do this as many or as few times as you want. I would recommend doing it at least once. Um, this is actually the second time I'm doing this. But what you wanna do next is take paper towel and soak it in some of that hydrogen peroxide 
and just drape it over so that that stays in contact with the skull when we walk away and do something else here. And I'll come back and I'll check him in four or five hours when I'm done hunting here. And um, we'll see what it looks like. So there we have it. Looks like a mummy deer now, but um, like I said, drape those paper towels over. Be real careful to stay below the bases of the antlers there. And then you can uh, walk away and do whatever you gotta do. So like I said, guess the age and the score of this buck. And then when I get this buck back, um, or when I get the teeth back with the age, I'll score this buck on camera. For anybody that doesn't know how to score, I'll give you the score and um, we'll look back at the comments in this video and see who's the closest. But like I said, correct age and closest score. 18 inch inside spread, eight inch G2s and G3s on each side, approximately. Um, you got broken brows on both sides, but they're, you know, one and two inches probably. Um, so there, there's quite a few of the measurements you're gonna need. Obviously you're gonna have to guess because it's hard to tell on camera, but give it your best guess and let me know what you think. And uh, we'll find something to send out to somebody. All right, so it's probably been about four or five hours here. Just got done hunting. Let's see what it looks like. And like I said, um, this is actually the second whitening here. I was gonna leave it after the first, but somehow I lost all my footage from the first whitening, so. Um, it brightened up a little bit, I'd say. Not a whole lot. After the first time, it you know, each time might get a little bit brighter, but you know, your biggest change is gonna be from boiling it to the uh, first peroxide wash but that looks really good um, I'm just gonna let it dry out now and as soon as it does we'll hang it up on the wall and see what it looks like but like I said leave in the comments age you got to get the age correct and then closest to the score so the person with the correct age and closest to the score I'll send uh, send something out and like I said uh, I'll do a video on aging a buck for anybody that doesn't know and just something fun so leave it in the comments and uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and hopefully it helps you with uh, any European mounts you may do in the future and like and subscribe thanks